Psyker Dude Dad, and I am back on the AT and PA. Uh, we are, I am uh, down here at South Mountain. Uh, right down there is the intersection of uh, the trail and Route 233. So after my first hike uh, from Penmar to South Mountain, this is where I ended up. Um, so now we're months later, actually, uh, skipping around a little bit, but. Um, we're here at South Mountain, and we're gonna go about 16 miles. We're gonna do an overnight tonight. Uh, so we're going 16 miles to the big flat parking area along Shippensburg Road. And uh, we're gonna stay overnight, probably, most likely a Quarry Gap shelter. Ever have tea berry gum? Fresh tea berry growing here within the first half mile when you're headed north from South Mountain. Uh, we're in a spot with mountain laurel and these nickel size round leaves are growing under the mountain laurel and that's tea berry. It smells just like that gum. So most of today we'll be walking along the ridge of uh, Rocky Mountain. So uh, the first shelter we come upon will be called Rocky Mountain Shelter. We should be pretty close to it. Um, but the summit, I guess, peak of it is up there. It's uh, 1,805 feet above sea level. And we've been walking pretty flat for a while here. So I think we're just under the ridge. Uh, the ridge looks rocky. This big pile here is billed as a uh, pivot rock on all trails. Elevation, 1,847 feet. Um, but the trail is kind of up here along these rocks and everything on this ridge. Uh, it's pretty nice, so... Uh, imagine we might get some views. We're mostly traveling south to north right now. Uh, geographically speaking, so uh, that view out to the east there is very nice. It's one of the spots on the AT where just to feel the boulders in front of you, but there's a blaze. Big stack up there. So I guess we're climbing. <laughs> We're finally starting our descent down to Route 30 in Caledonia State Park. Uh, but coming out of the rocks here, it's, it's basically more rock trail. So, the 13 mile section I did south of South Mountain, it's pretty easy. Um, you know, pretty flat, not a lot of rocks, but uh, this section here north of South Mountain, I mean, I'm on something called Rocky Mountain, so what do I expect? But um, yeah, definitely much rockier here. Uh, nothing like up north in Pennsylvania, but it's, uh, it's, you know, taking my time today. Really gotta be careful not to uh, bang up my feet too much. There's definitely a lot of uh, toe grabbers out here with rocks and uh, Taking a couple impacts to the toes, but um, just gotta remember to pick them up. All right, we got to Route 30. Crossing it might be uh, interesting. Took a few minutes, uh, but uh, got across busy Route 30. So we're in beautiful Caledonia State Park now. 
and uh, AT cuts right through. There you go. There's a bunch of places where we've been. Got a double blaze here, sort of cut over this stream. Oh, this is gorgeous. Both ways on the bridge. Nice concrete bridge. Well, I think I'm going to come over here and I see picnic tables and I'm going to find a place to eat. It is almost noon. I'm going to eat right here along the water, actually. Definitely a nice little spot to eat some lunch. Kind of wish I was camping here, but I'm... Uh, Definitely not far enough along uh, along my route. So as we're leaving the really nice facilities here at Caledonia State Park, uh, you might be wondering what does Caledonia mean? Um, it was it was the ancient Romans word for Scotland uh, when they conquered it. But that's not why the park has its name. Uh, the park has its name after Caledonia, Vermont, which was the birthplace of Thaddeus Stevens. Uh, Thaddeus Stevens was big in Pennsylvania history. He um, was an abolitionist, a brewer, awesome, and uh, pretty much the father of the um, Pennsylvania uh, public school system. Um, but he financed basically all the ironworks uh, projects in the area and lived here for a while and called the area Caledonia. How about that? A little history from me. Boom! So we're leaving Caledonia and we are crossing a little road here, but as you can see, boom, we got some steps here. We are going straight up. Uh, we've got about a 700 foot climb over the next two miles to get to um, Quarry Run. And, you know, a worst case scenario, that's gonna be like two o'clock. And I don't know if I'm done yet after that. We'll see how this climb is and, and how long it takes to get there and whatever. But um, I might not be done yet. There's a couple of tent sites a little farther along up there um, I don't know. I still don't know where I'm going to be tonight, but I'll be somewhere. This is interesting here. It looks like to Locust Gap Trail via AT. Okay. It's a white blaze there. There's like fencing on either side here. Kind of odd. This looks like a road on uh, gut hooks and all trails, um, but the fence posts have white blazes. And it wasn't too far on that road, and uh, everything's clearly marked. Back into the woods. Just came out of a tunnel of laurel, and this is a quarry gas shell. You're kidding me! Oh my god, this place is yeah, 10 platforms. Oh, hammockable trees, this benches, flower. This place is majestic. Oh my god, a swing. A lot of butterflies. Welcome. Oh my lord. Skylight with a dream catcher. Oh, 
games, cards. Holy cow. Covered picnic tables. Wow. Um, yeah, this isn't fair, honestly. <laughs> All right, so I might find some trees here and uh, stay here tonight. Holy cow. I'm probably stupid if I don't. Yeah, so hang my bag there. I was just hanging out on the old swing and then I'll uh, give you a tour of my living conditions for the evening. Number one, I don't have leaves or a hill or rocks or sticks and thorns or anything under me. I put this guy right over a tent pad. Yeah. Yeah, I got time to kill here, but I'm not going anywhere else tonight. Odds of those tent sites being anything comparable to this would think slim to none. So. All right, so hammock spot number two. Um, not quite as amazingly luxurious but i was uh i was at the awesome quarry gap place for a while and um this older dude who's uh flip-flop hiking uh came through and said hi and then uh, he was looking to stay there as well and he said uh you know you're putting a hammock on a tent site so I'm still pretty inexperienced and perhaps that is some kind of unwritten faux pas, I guess. Um, so he's very gruff about it. Um, so bottom line is I just kind of didn't want to stay there with him anyway. Um, so I came over to the group tent site Whatever, there's two pads over there. I'm leaving them alone. Um, and I kind of found the only good trees over here uh, that I can set up. So, hey, live and learn. Um, if, uh, if that's actually a thing, then it makes sense. It's a Tuesday in April. I didn't think anybody would be by, but you never know. And if they come late at night, that would be... A hassle so he's right but um could be nicer about it i don't know <laughs> whatever i'm here now it's time to crack a beer still cold from new trail we've got delicious roxylvania ipa for the first one um an old favorite i've had it before i guess when it was released last year and it's excellent Ah, it's better. All is well. All is well. Good do a little ramen tonight. Why not? Uh, I've got some summer sausage and some cheese here that I'm gonna stir into it after and kind of make a cheesy sausage pasta something or other. So that's interesting and not too bad. Beer number two, Bonfire, even though I'm not going to build a bonfire tonight. Um, going to get to bed early. I want to hit the trail early tomorrow. I've actually got an alarm set for 5.30, um, so it's not going to be long after sunset before I go to bed. Um, I just want to make sure I've got eight. 0.8 miles to do tomorrow um it's not too much up and down i think i'll probably get a thousand feet total 
um, with the up and down, but it's mostly along a ridge. Um, but I just want to um, get out of here and have no doubt that I'll be able to coach a lacrosse game tomorrow night and everything else. So cheers to this. I don't think there's any way to get a flattering video inside a hammock, but I'll keep trying. It's still a little bit light out, but it's bedtime. I'm going to get up while it's dark tomorrow, get everything together, and basically hit the trail of first light. So, see you then. So right here, you just add water. I like the uh, Kashi chocolate cereal and their peanut butter cereal. So I mix those, throw a little powdered milk over top of it, some dried strawberries, and just add water, you got a bowl of cereal. two coffee's good it's about 6 30 and uh ready to get out of here i'm uh kind of downhill here quarry gap is uh between two two hills here so um every once in a while the breeze starts down that hill and it's warm like it's cold here but then this like warm breeze comes through and it, it is really weird it almost smells like a dryer i don't know why but, um, yeah, it's just a, like a warm breeze every once in a while blows down the hill here. So it's supposed to be a hot one today up in the 80s. So uh, I'm going to hit this uh, and then get on the trail because it's, um, yeah, I've got 8.8 .8 miles to do today. Back on the trail. It is uh, just before 7 o'clock here. Went back to the main part of Quarry Gap there to fill up from the springs. So I got two big jugs of water. Get me out of here. It's pretty cool now. Just a little bit of a warm breeze. I'm already in uh, short sleeves, but um, yeah. I'm gonna try and eat up as many of these miles as we can before it gets uh, super hot now. About a half mile north of quarry gap. Uh, I believe this is Hossack's Run and this is listed as a place to fill up but uh, you know I just did it there at the spring at the gap so I think we're good. Quarry Gap shelter in this part of the trail are maintained by the Potomac section of uh, the ATC. Volunteers they do a great job. Look at these stairs. It's amazing. <laughs> so this is the first tent site that I come to. It's about a mile and a half from Quarry Gap. I was thinking about coming here yesterday. Nice little bench set up with the uh, fire pit. These trees here, from like here to there, definitely hammockable. So yeah, that would have worked out. I guess if there was nobody else here, and there's no way to know that, but this would have worked out uh, if I did decide to leave Quarry Gap yesterday. So another impeccable staircase here. Uh, these are really nice. Just wish there weren't quite so many right now, but uh, we are climbing Methodist Hill, which make my mom smile. Uh, the elevation on that is 2,070 feet. It's very humid today already, even though it's still, you know, just about eight o'clock. Uh, it's just close, so it feels hotter than it is probably. And got a good sweat going on, so hope Big Pine Flat Ridge is uh, flat. So here's the other campsite that they said has a great sunset out here facing west, which I could see. These trees definitely hammockable, so I'd have been okay going to either of the other campsites. Um, 
I haven't seen anybody out here. I, uh, I have a feeling that myself and uh, the uh, older fellow last night were the only ones at Quarry Gap. Uh, there's no sign of anybody at either of these campsites. So I think I'd have been fine going to either one of them if I wanted to add some more miles. Um, having the spring there, Quarry Gap was clutch though. So All right. So here's the Miles Burn cabin. Available for rent through the PATC. Doesn't appear to have anybody here. Beautiful though. Nice fire ring. A little bridge over a flowing stream. I'm definitely gonna fill up there. Pretty awesome. And I'm gonna go down here and fill up. And that should get me the rest of the way. Alright, so 2.36 miles to the Birch Run shelter. There's more water there if I need it. And I came from Quarry Gap Shelter. I've already done almost five miles today. Awesome. I've only got 3.8 miles to go. Till we're done. So that's awesome. Uh, yeah, it's, just, uh, it's humid today. But um, it's part of the trail. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. And I'm making good time. It is... Almost nine o'clock in the morning. I've done five miles already. This is awesome. <laughs> big Pine Flat does have some big pines. That's for sure. And uh, overall, I'd say flat, but there's definitely some climbs. Got about 300 feet of climbing left to do before the end. Yeah, all of a sudden we are in a dense pine forest. Uh, it's a lot darker here. It's blocking out the sun. It's a little cloudy today anyway, but yeah, every other place has been, you know, other trees and everything. But this area here is just dense with big old pines. It's awesome. A little cooler in here too, though. I guess you have a choice here on the trail, the rocky side or the non-rocky side. <laughs> so we were in that dense pine forest and less than two miles later, it's this big barren spot here. It looks like a lot of trees were taken down in the middle. It's wide open here. The good part is the breeze that I've been hearing all day, I'm finally feeling. Uh, trees have been blocking that off, but it feels good and refreshing here. <sighs> Man, I've hit my 14,000 step goal here before 10 a.m. Um, can't say I've done that very often. So we came down the hill a little bit and uh, into the Birch Run shelter. This one looks very nice too. Oh, those would be good hammock trees, except they're too wide for my straps. Oh, privies up the hill in the middle there. Eh, not quite the accoutrements of, uh, of Quarry Gap, but they have a couple bunks in there. That's nice. Oh, we could have hammocked here, definitely. Out here on this side. A little big fire pit down there. Stone path up to the privy. Wow, we've done 7.4 miles already today, which is nice. So I guess we got about a mile and a half to go. Mmm, Birch Run is nice. Nice and clear. Flowing fast, that'd be a nice place to fill up. All right, We're crossing Shippensburg Road at Big Flat. Car's still there, looks intact. 
Very nice parking lot here, by the way. Whew. All right. We did that. Heck yeah, we did that. All right. Yeah, so we are... I am almost done with the area southwest of the Susquehanna River. I've got one more little stretch from here up to Pine Grove Furnace. It's about 10 miles. Uh, and then I have a little five mile section from Sherwood Drive to Route 850. And then I'm done in the south, um, south of the Susquehanna. Um, yeah, hey, thank you for watching. This has been fun. Please subscribe, ring the bell. Thanks for sticking with me during the uh, AT&PA. Thanks a lot.